That's right, guys. In this spicy video, I'm going to be attempting to survive 100 days on a planet in Minecraft hardcore. Now, this is kind of paying tribute to a really old, old series of mine a long time ago. If you're new here, then you're probably going to love this, though. Surviving on this planet is going to be no easy task. I'm extremely limited on resources to what is available on my planet. However, there are going to be other planets with other resources, but getting to them will be no easy task. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. This video was an insane amount of work. It took forever. And I would really appreciate it. I'm sure the algorithm would appreciate it as well. Subscribe if you guys are new here and let's get into 100 days on a planet. Okay, here we are on a planet. Oh, wow. There's actually, hold on. There's other planets and stuff too. So we actually, we have some exploring to do. Ooh, that planet is lit. It's like a full-blown, like, it's like a desert with like, uh, uh, like an oasis in it. I assume that's our sun, but my, 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 my true sun is up there, dude. That's, that's Billy Bob Jr. up there. We have mushroom. There's obviously like a Mesa looking planet out there that isn't fully rendering. So there might actually be even more. That's just further out that like, I can't even see that far. This looks like earth. I'm definitely on earth. Earth. Hello. What? What do I have? A pickaxe right here. Did it just fall from the heavens? Is there? Is there some sort of out, outer being that's stronger than I am? Um, I was gonna say first things first is to get some wood, of course, because I mean this is Minecraft after all. Um, and I mean as pretty as these trees are, I mean one of the first things I'm gonna want to do actually is uh probably chop down these trees. I, I'm more of a, a normal Minecraft tree kind of guy. Besides, I need saplings to ensure the longevity. Hey, there's a sheep on this planet. I need to make sure I'm gonna be able to survive on this planet for as long as possible. So I need to also get saplings. Saplings are a valuable. Because if there's a cave right here, I can be able to get some resources real quick, like coal. And then I can also make my way down here and maybe get some iron. Oh, okay. There's already mobbies. Oh, oh, there's a handful of mobbies. Len, he can't get up here, right? Oh, dude, he can, he can, he can, he can, he can, he can. No! Relax. Just stay calm, cool, and collected. Just push him off the push him off the planet. Oh my gosh, and now it's raining. And now it's raining. I'm about to die already. Okay, I pushed one off the planet. Let me get this iron. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to fight my way through this already, dude. No, I'm down to one heart. Just the life I live. Maybe I can find some iron in here. Just live casually. Maybe uh weather through the rain. I'm just gonna place that there. Lightning just struck my planet. We're two seconds into this video. I'm on one heart. I'm dying. I don't know what to do with my life. I also only managed to get one piece of iron because I panicked. So I'll just hollow out a giant area right here and maybe we find some iron maybe we don't maybe we cry okay and now that it's day two and the rain has officially stopped i gotta be careful here i do have a bow i can push him back into the daylight okay there we go nice i just don't know i'm literally a one hit oh my god there's another skeleton literally right there also last night i managed to get shears well i i managed to get another piece of iron to then make the shears but for now i'm gonna try to get onto the surface so then i can get some wool so that i never have to deal with nighttime stuff like that again Again. Okay, where's the top of my plane? How far down am I really? What is happening? I'm about to literally break this iron pick, which I really don't want to break. I will make a stone one. Okay, I do hear a zombie. Does he smell me? No, he doesn't. Okay, we have one zombie right there. Yeah, this actually could be food for me as well. So I'm just gonna be careful. Play my distance. Okay, we got a little bit of food. Um, it looks like I have one pig and one sheep, and he literally dropped me one wool, even though I sheared him. Oh wait, there's two pigs. Give me seeds. For the love of God. Just give me seeds. Wait, you already ate grass. Nice. Um shear there we go now we have plenty of wool we can officially make a bed there we go got some seeds also okay things are looking up slightly <laughs> real quick just by this little river bed i'm going to make a temporary farm so that i can make some food i just literally want to lay down some dirt and i just want to hoe this dirt real quick and then put down these seeds and then i did kill that one skeleton over here hopefully ah it's so risky it's just so risky for me to try to go down there i can't take any fall damage i do see an arrow because if i could manage to get a bone and i could bone meal the food which there's not one there's there's no bone and there is a zombie way down there i need more iron so this is actually a perfect opportunity to get more iron since all the mobs are way down there not to take too much well hardly any damage at all but actually this guy's also food now that i think about it come on there we go now we have rotten flesh i just need some regeneration that's all i need there we go day two is looking be way better oh my gosh it's rainy again dude i hate this planet i live on a rainy planet and i hate it
made it. At least I got some regen, I guess. But isn't this a problem? Doesn't this mean that mobs can spawn up here? Because now it's like dark enough. Either way, now I have a shield. Can I actually sleep? There's this. I'll take it. Day three, baby. Oh my God, there's a skelly right here. Starting off day three with some combat. There we go. Bone? No bone. Oh my gosh, a creeper. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Ooh, oh, there we go. I just need this to grow. So I need bone meal to get more food. And then I can also get a pin for the animals. Mm, food is going to be a way bigger problem than I thought it was. I'm going to go in the cave and very carefully try to get bones. That's all I could think of right now. Just got to be careful. Just need to get as many bones as possible. Why is there so many creepers? Actually, like eight creepers right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh we're doing okay. We're doing okay. This is the scariest thing I've done in a minute because I can't die. I'm also going to try to get as much resources as I can while I'm down here. I might as well. Oh my. Like, why? Why is it that I live on creeper planet? Why? Oh my gosh. Am I going to... Okay, getting a little dangy again. Maybe this wasn't the wisest choice, and maybe we uh, just play the waiting game and we let those uh, those wheat grow, and we just go from there. So I'm gonna get some wood real quick. I'm gonna turn this wood into sticks, and then from sticks into fences, and then we're going to make like a little corral area, something simple like this. Keep it simple. I'll push them in. The only thing is that I need wheat because I'm thinking here is that if I get wheat, oh my gosh, dude, this one seriously broke. How? How did this? one break that's just oh my gosh dude that just got me angry it's literally in water did i did one one of the pigs had to have stepped on it right regardless though because if i get wheat then i can breed the pigs and then if i breed the pigs then i can be able to actually eat a pig oh my gosh yes finally no, no, no. Okay, it almost washed away. Uh, that one's still growing. That means I still need another wheat. Wait, where's my other pig, though? I need to still lure him now into here. I forgot the sheep will also follow. I, that's fine. There you go. And Piggy, you as well? Are you not interested? You eat carrots. Pigs eat carrots. I just realized that. That's a problem. That means that I'm going to be able to eat the wheat, though, once it's fully grown. New mission. I'm chopping down these trees today, and I'm going to get saplings. That's my goal. Because if I'm able to get a sapling, I can be able to eat food. I'm like borderline about to say that I'm going to eat henry over here this piggy oh yeah he's already gone dude henry i might i might throw you on the grill i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna chop down literally all these trees one thing for certain is i did uh heavily underestimate how long it was gonna be to take down this entire tree this tree was way bigger than i thought so uh we're just gonna go ahead and do another tree over here and luckily finally got apples i don't know why i didn't think about apples sooner well we finally have regen and that's a big w six hours later and just like that another day another tree gone and actually we already got trees growing right now so that's pretty great and it's definitely gonna come in handy because i'm gonna probably start working on a house pretty soon here actually but i think i want to start by like maybe leveling this off yeah we'll leave that to another day i want to try to level off this top layer right here then i can actually like have a good foundation a good space to be able to build a house but for that i'm gonna need a lot more dirt what the heck was that wait you guys saw that right like that was like it was like a shooting star that was like it's something just came flying by and it looked like a block but i don't know i don't know what it was wait, what is that there's another one there's another one i don't know what that is what is that i was thinking that maybe something flew by in the beginning and like uh, that's how i got the pickaxe the iron pick and there's like debris that flies by here you know what um real quick i want to i want to try to catch one of those i was thinking maybe the the pickaxe got stuck in the tree and that's how i ended up with the tree or with the iron pick here but for now I have, I have a genius idea by making a flat area over here that'll actually be the farm oh that pig better not be stepping on my crops over here which actually one of them is ready baby time to harvest today's just a chill day honestly i'm, I'm vibing right now we're just working on uh terraforming the the land the the, the... All right, so quick update here. This is what we're working with so far. I've run out of cobblestone is what it is. But at least we got some walls. Um, I plan on building it up. We'll have a nice, pretty looking roof. But of course, we got to give ourselves some doors. Protect ourselves from the outside world. I also got easy river access to my farm. My temporary farm, that is, which is actually growing. I'm thinking I should probably move this now, right? I should probably get start setting up a new actual like farm farm right here. Put down some water right there and put down some water right here and all we got to do is hoe the land in between that's the, that's the thing about farming is that it just accelerates so fast all of a sudden you start growing lots and lots of farm or, or wheat now i can finally make my first piece of bread and also i got two left over and i might as well use that on the sheepers because worst case scenario the sheepers are fed
Man, I want to go to that planet. It's so sick. Okay, and before I invest myself too much into these projects right now, because I do need more cobblestone anyways to finish the house. But on top of that, I keep seeing the things flying by. And I really want them. I could build like a wall and it would hit the wall kind of like the tree did. I think I might go caving real quick because I do need more cobblestone anyways. And I do have full health, well, relatively close to full health finally. So I might be able to defend myself in the caves. And hopefully I can be able to get some string off of a spider. That's a zombie villager. That's a, zo that's a zombie villager. And he's going to burn right now. No, 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 no. I want to get him in a hole. Get him in a hole. No, not you, stupid. Okay. Oh, ah, now I'm stuck in a hole. Nope, 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 nope. Fine. I don't know. Get back in the cave. Oh, uh, well, he's going to, he needs a name tag, right? Come over here. That's why I cannot believe I just risked it all. I hear a chicken. Is that above me? I think a chicken spawned on my island. Or not island, my, my planet. He's officially stuck in the hole. Perfect. I'm like 99% certain that if I were to make a boat, he shouldn't despawn inside of a boat. I'm like 99% certain of that. Um, But I do hear a chicken and it's a baby zombie. I'm starting to think that it's inside the hole up here I made. And I, oh, there it is. I want that chicken, but I don't want to deal with the baby zombies. Come on, come on up. Are they even able to climb up this high? I think from the creeper blast earlier that made it so that they couldn't climb up this high. So I might be able to just poke at them, which is perfect. Ugh. I guess we're eating chicken tonight. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of zombies. Bro, bro. I just got to deal with all these guys. No. It blew him up here. Okay. Is the chicken still there? Okay. The chicken's still there. Okay. We should be fine. Every time I go in these caves, dude, I'm just risking it. I'm risking it all, but it was worth it this time around because we got ourselves some chicky. I'm getting shot by a bow. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this guy won't burn or anything like that. I'm just going to keep him in the hole completely covered. We have a villager if it doesn't despawn ever. But for now, we eat some rotten flesh just to get the regen while waiting for our mm, oh delicious Chick-fil-A to cook up over here we're just gonna save that for later though but in the meantime i do need more stone i want the spider yes come here spider come on climb there's so many mobs actually just roasting he killed the skelly and it has bones i need the bones i need a little okay spider relax guy the spider and just a million zombies left hey collect all that we got more food we also have two string which i can make a bow and we have bones for bone meal i'm just gonna literally spend the rest of the day just mining now that i have bone meal now i can actually work on the farm a bit so here this one Ones. looks grown there we go now i can actually start expanding this oh yes oh yes here we go this is already looking so much better oh wait this one's gonna need two there we go boom bam all right and then i'll just pump it oh that one fully grown too all right yeah no we're farmers we're farmers i got enough wheat now i can continue to expand the sheeper farm come on guys love each other and now i even have enough for a leftover bread too i mean i still do got the the one cooked chicken so i mean the, at the end of the day i think we're okay on food so we just gotta keep letting this grow though and one day we won't starve like how food is my biggest worry in this world um uh, but it's about time we officially finish working on the house with everything that we have does that look good never think about stripped log i always forget that stripped log is even a thing in minecraft it does it does help the the flow on the inside it makes it feel lighter but oh yeah that's what i thought the outside is disgusting hold on easy solution though call the architect here there we go like that oh that looks good that looks good now it has like a little bit of an overhang too oh yeah no that's the vibe all right continue working on the house though All right, and officially the house is, well, I mean, it's like, it's like done enough, right? Uh, I could definitely live in it. We got an ugly roof which is super cobblestone-y and I kind of regret making it like this. We got an upstairs. That's worth it. We got a downstairs. Livable. Totally livable. I also got this private access to my waterfall, which I've been listening to this guy, which I haven't even talked to him yet. And I don't even know what he has. So let's see what he got here. He's got some, some drippy stone, which I don't need. Some cacti. Again, I don't need. It doesn't matter because I don't have any emeralds and I totally forgot about my farm. Holy crap. Hello, farm. How you doing? Oh yeah, now we got tons of seeds. Here we go. We grab our handy dandy hoe and we start hoeing it up. We're big boy farmers now. The next thing I want to do is I want to try to catch one of these items that's flying by because I, I keep seeing them zooming as I was building the house, which I, it's, you know, the roof, the roof's not good looking. All right, we, we can get past the roof, but I keep seeing these. No, what is that? It's a, a blackstone brick. Okay, so there's items that fly by. Okay, now I'm now I'm thinking I need to reassess the structure of my house, and I kind of just want to build like a giant wall <laughs> to hopefully hit like stop the items from flying by. Right? I think that might be the move. I really want to go to one of these planets. That planet looks lit. So is that one though? That's like the jungle biome ish. And also, I think it's about time I eat the uh, the roasted chicken. Almost get a little hungry. Oh oh, what is it? What is it? It's like is that one? Of, it was like a bowl of soup. How dare this world taunt me with food flying? 
flying by when I want food. All oh, 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 there goes more stuff. Oh, it, it actually at my house. It's just a prismarine slab. Or no, it's a copper slab. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff just flies by and it's like super inconsistent. Okay, and so next plan of attack here. I What I think I might do, since I mean the house is already ugly and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna accept that right now. Oh my God, we're gonna die. Don't blow up my, my planet, please. Don't do it. Nope. That's fine. Just remember, take care of the planet you're living on, guys. Kind of making like a wall up here Ooh. to block out as much as I can for items on top of the house. It's going to be ugly, but I want it to be effective. And that's what really matters, right? Let's see how effective a wall wall will be. I haven't seen any items flying any higher than this so far. But yeah, I'm not seeing that many items flying by anymore. Today is one of those days, I guess. I don't know. It's about time we start going down into the caves. Before I commit to going down into the caves, I'll do this. I'll chop down every single one of my trees first of all to get a lot of wood second of all i'll get a bunch of apples and then i'll have apples in the meantime and then i can also breed these sheepers and technically there is plenty of sheep in here i could definitely eat a sheep if i really need to i'm gonna try not to for now and try i'm gonna attempt my best to not eat any of them sheepers and just rely on apples for now honestly i have no idea where the pigs went either no i did not eat them okay they're just they're somewhere on this planet right okay and now with all these trees chopped down it's just a waiting game waiting waiting for apples all we're doing. All right, it's official. I have terrible drop rates and I'm literally getting no apples. And um, that, was a, that was a great use of my time for the day. Wait, I totally missed an entire tree right here. Hello. Oh, wait, this one just grew. That's what it was. Okay, I was so confused. I was like, I swear I chopped down all the trees. Either way. Oh, wait, we do have another apple. Okay, so we got two apples so far out of all of this. Regardless, we do at least have some food. And I do think it's about time we go cave diving. And we could we could just live with it, I guess. Oh, wait, I just saw an item fly by. I saw little sparkles. Little shooting star sparkles. I just want to be able to catch an item. That's literally it. Maybe the house caught something, huh? My house trap. Oh, wait, 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 what is that? Oh, dang it, dude. I hate, I see it fly by and it makes me sad. I'm living in a trap house house right now. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, time to go cave diving, which at the end of the day, all I got to do is not get clapped, which isn't really too hard. I'm going to try to slay as many mobs as possible, especially zombies, because rotten flesh has been pretty clutch. Oh, I totally forgot about you. Oh my gosh. I, I, okay, hold on. Wait, let me get out of this situation real quick. I need to, I need to cover him back up. Put that there. Put another block or two. I hear another chicken. Another chicken jockey down here. Oh God. Ow. Oh wait, the chicken's just by itself now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Oh my gosh. These skellies are the worst. Oh my. Okay. One creeper blew up. We're fine. It, it hurted the chicken a little bit. We're fine. I want to I wanna take this chicken up so bad. Hold on. I'm going to uh, real quick run back up here. I don't need seeds. I'll grab a lead actually from uh, the wandering trader. But of course. Hello, sir. I'm just going to give you the clap. One, two, one, two. Yeah, they'll forgive me later. We'll be all right. Because now chickens, as we all know, in the 100 ocean world days, chickens are the most self-sustaining animal there is. They just lay eggs and then boom, you get more chickens. Oh, I thought it despawned, dude. The heart sank a little bit. Chicken, I need you to come this way. Chicken, I need you to come this way. There we go. No, no. Zombie bad. Zombie bad. No. This isn't... Oh, gosh. Okay. Give him the clapping. One chicken. One. You can fit through there. You can fit right through there. No. Yes. Okay. Whew. Chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. I hate zombies. I hate them so much. Okay. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Chicky, chicky. Yes. Yes. I don't want to hit the chicken on accident. Okay, we're fine. Okay. We're doing all right. I just got to rescue this guy. Take him all the way up. Yes. Come on. There we go. This is it. This is the start of something beautiful. Chickpea 2.0. Oh my God. There's another skelly. As long as you don't hit the chicken, we're fine. Okay. Come on. Come on, chickpea. Beautiful. And then now. Oh my gosh. He broke off his lead. Where is he? Where are you? Chickpea? There you are. Tell me a little word for a second there. All right. Here. I'm just going to tie you up next to the sheepers. Okay. And then you just continue to lay your eggs like you normally do. All right. And then we should be Gucci gang. And while I'm up here, I might as well just grab some wheat real quick. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to go back back down into the mines because we're we need to do some good because we need to do some good adventuring this time you get past this point basically this choke point which now i can be able to get some iron after i fight all these creepers there we go there's just so many mobs in here i definitely need to get coal and light this place up so i don't have to worry about mobs respawning in here oh yeah duke it out baby do all the work for me please i need to just light up as much of these caves as possible which luckily there is plenty of coal so that's not really too big of an issue oh my gosh okay yeah but this is an issue there's a lot of mobs <laughs> no 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 
Oh my gosh. How did I even get in this scenario? Chicken kid needs to stop. There we go. Yeah, I guess I just take my time here. Oh, I got a potato. I got a potato. Oh, that's gonna be so clutch. My axe is already about to break again, man. Oh my God, it's already nighttime. Hey, you know what? Just because I'm down here and I can. Oh my God. Yep, that's an issue. I'm gonna just sleep. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to try to gather as much materials as possible. Literally, I would love to have some iron armor at this point. Normally, I don't care for iron armor, but I'm gonna go for as much as I can. No, oh, no, I hear a lot of mobs up this cave. I hear a chicken jockey too. Okay, all right. Yep, there's a lot of mobs in here. Oh, oh. Okay, yep. There we go. I'm just gonna let the creepers do the work. Creepers do the work. Okay. Oh, Skelly's fighting the the witch. That's perfect. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just uh, rewind it back real quick here. Ow, Skelly. Relax. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. There's way too many mobs. Creeper. Yes. Do all the work for me. Creeper, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this isn't good. That witch just missed. I gotta leave. I'm just gonna regen and then uh, go right back at it. Continue the grind. This is a beautiful area, by the way. This thing is like, it's oh, it's like crystal clear out here. Other than the fact that obviously there's a bunch of mobs. So obviously it's dark. Okay, so I need to lay down torches. I hear chicken. What the frick happened here? Why is there so many chickens? Is this like a hot spot spawn for chicken jockey? Yo, I'm eating some of these chickens. Ah! So this place is beautiful and there's lava. Okay, this is something I actually been wanting. I've been wanting some lava. Ooh, and we got gold right here too. Because now if I have lava, then I can be able to make a cobblestone generator. I don't got to come down into the scary caves to be able to get cobblestone and we'll be safe. I'm also going to grab some of this gold. Oh my gosh, another zombie villager. Whip up. Oh my gosh, I almost made a chicken boat. Okay, now I juke you out real quick. Run and run. Boom, boom, boom. Whip up another boat. Just like this. Okay, perfect. So now we technically have two villagers. We just got to heal them. You can have some blocks. Stuff. Wait, what? I got a, I got, apparently at some point I got a music dish during all that. And I, I'm not surprised considering there were so many skeletons and creepers and stuff like that, but uh, I mean, I'll take it. I think next on the agenda though, is I need to go to the surface so that I can finally cook up all of this iron. And then I'm also going to make another furnace here. I'll make like, how about this area? This area will be like my little kitchen area. I'll also cook up those chickens. It's already turning nighttime, big rips. But now I finally have some food. Oh my gosh, dude, life is so good when you have food. We could also check on Senor Chickpea over here and he doesn't really have any more eggs. We didn't birth any more chickens. That's fine. One thing though that's for certain is I think I'm gonna get rid of the wheat. I want to plant some potatoes. Bone meal it because you get way more food out of potatoes. Potatoes are a way more efficient food source and I'll continue to expand the potato farm over here. I'll make it like I said like half. We got a uh, half a potato farm. We're still able to continue to grow more potatoes. Food, food's not even an issue anymore. Next on the agenda is like I said I do want to make some armor as well because yeah, I was getting my cheeks beat going down in those caves and then since luckily we did get a lava bucket so I'm gonna make a cobblestone generator because yeah I've played skyblock once twice in my life water will go there grab this lava lava will go there push into that oh that's not what I wanted oh it goes right there oh, okay I see I see I see what I, I my mistake here okay so now we should be Gucci lava pours right there beautiful only other thing that I want to do is add a chest behind it right there so then I could just afk mine like this and my pickaxe isn't going to break a chest so I could just sit here as long as I want collecting cobblestone which is the goal because I need a lot of cobblestone right now so I'm just going to afk here for a while okay and after a successful mining excursion we have plenty of cobble thinking about going there first it looks like it's nethery themed actually that looks kind of like it's diamonds right there does that not look like diamonds and I do want to go to the sand island sand island is closer time I expand the farm gotta start off by gathering tons of dirt and then begin expanding the land i'd like to try to keep the planet like shape but i don't know how doable that's gonna be considering i'm basically gonna just extend this area by a lot and we're also gonna grab our seeds and continue the farm expansion and try to keep it half wheat half potato for now and then we'll see where it takes us later so now while we're bridging out at least we'll have some food growing on top of the fact that we do have some food i mean rotten flesh is not that great and also storage is becoming a big issue we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out at some point but for now it's time to leave we got to go to a new planet I'm, I'm banking on this one having something decent like i said i think i see some diamonds like right there for sure and for expanding i'm definitely going to use slabs because that's just going to stretch the longest and um let's begin the building process 
I'm literally just gonna bridge as far as I can. A few inches later. We're finally at the home stretch, and I can confirm there are diamonds here, but there's also magma slime. So I need to be very oh, it's getting it's getting creepy. Oh, it's like the, the planet itself is like a basalt biome. But I gotta be careful because those guys are gonna jump off and they are gonna hit me, and I will I will scream and cry. Gotta be careful of lava. This planet is so scary. <gasps> I just said be careful of lava. Maybe I place that down. I pick up that lava. Okay, no, it's more than one, just one lava source. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude, that block scared me. It's like, how am I like what do I do in this? I feel like I'm just mindlessly. Oh, I hit like a cave. The lava. Oh, we got a portal. Okay, portal's valuable because obviously I could be able to go to the nether at some point more than likely. And I need to cook up iron real quick. I need one more piece. Hopefully there's another piece here somewhere. Yes, there is. Now I can make an iron pick. And then we could go down. Oh, dude, this place is scary. Can't fall into the void. I think this is void. No, okay, there's glass. Oh, this is so scary. Okay, diamonds. Please don't go into the void. Okay, we're good. Okay, get these diamonds as well. Nice. And now with these diamonds, I can actually make a diamond pick. There we go. So we did get a handful of diamonds out of this. Might be able to get even more out of some of the other sections. That one doesn't have any. That one does. It's a magma slimy. But one thing I do want to do is get rid of all this crying obsidian around this thing. Because then we can actually have a nether portal that we can use in light. I think that might actually be it for the diamonds on this area. And this planet doesn't really have too much. I got to be honest. It's kind it's clearly like a nethery, ruined, nasty planet. Well, that's fine. We still managed to get diamonds out of it. We do also have another portal, which we're definitely gonna hop in soon. Oh no, there's a strider falling on the lava into the void. I'm sorry, buddy. Now that we have some diamonds, I'm contemplating either making armor or I could make, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for tools. I can make a handful of tools. So here, let's make an ax. Let's make a sword and a shovel. And then we could also have a backup diamond pick also, I guess. Us. We just got to burn the rest of and then we're on to a new day. Now, after seeing how that planet was, I definitely want to start exploring some more though. But before we do that, I probably should start working on the house a little bit. We need more chests and stuff like that. I'm thinking about setting all this up as like the chest area. But now I could finally organize my stuff. So I got gold in here. I'll put diamonds in there as well. I'll make this my cobblestone dump chest. Make this one my nethery materials. Make that one for mob parts. Oh yeah, nah. Life is about to get so much nicer having chests and organization now we have fully completely organized chests with all of our stuff this this feels so good there's nothing worse than feeling unorganized so new day one thing i totally forgot about though is that i want to see if my house has caught any items the ones that keep flying by because it's triggering me that i'm not able to get any of these i might just build a giant oh, oh what is that was it was it was it what is that it's an iron helmet it triggers me that i can't get any of these things i hit my house what was it? I picked it up. It's a rabbit stew, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing like some space stew. Subworld, huh? Mammy universe. Hey, doing? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? What did I just get? It's a banner. Banner pattern. I don't want a banner pattern. What's a banner pattern going to do for me? I think I. What I might. Oh, we're about to get something. Oh, it's a spawn egg. A puffer fish spawn egg. What the heck? Okay, at least we have a puffer fish. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Make as much food as I can right now so that I don't have to touch the farm for a long time. I want it to all grow at a relatively the same pace, but I keep picking up food to be able to eat it, but I think I have enough now to where I don't have to touch the farm for a while. But now that we got some food, let's make some more slabs because we are going on another adventure. It's time to go to the sand planet, but I think the sand one might be my favorite so far. We'll see when we get there, but begin the long tedious process of bridging now that we're here now we face a new challenge which is how do i get down now i could mlg water bucket but then i won't be able to get back up so i'm thinking if i water bucket like that i'll hopefully be able to go up and down it totally fine minimal risk here keeping it safe one thing's for sure is i do want some sand because it's about time i put some windows in my house i'm tired of you know mobs just kind of popping their head in and being like what you doing in there and then i also want to go down there's like that middle layer that like oasis looking part i really want to go in it so let's see can we finesse something like this wait is that it right here this is it okay holy crap this is beautiful this is i want to turn this into my house now and, and just make that like the wall area where it'll catch items but this is sick oh and there's a creeper of course yep yeah, no nope. we're gonna light it on fire and we're not gonna come back here ever again yeah! 
This is probably my favorite planet so far. And this man's a stealing grass block and I don't appreciate that. Oh my gosh, another creeper. No matter where I go, no matter what planet I'm on, creepers will be there. I need to remember that. Okay, I'm trying to see, is there anything of value along the ring? Anything? Ooh, I do need gravel. I do need flint to be able to go into the nether. So this, this is actually definitely worth it. There we go. I kind of want to grab one of these mossy blocks because then I could be able to make more mossy blocks at home and then I can turn those mossy blocks into decorations for the house because the house is very barren and bone dry. Well, let's begin the long journey home. I will say I am starting to realize how big my planet is and there's probably a lot of resources inside of it. And so that's exactly what we're going to do today. It's time to go more, well, more... I'm going to go back down into the mines. I haven't really done too much exploring, really, other than trying to put as many torches as I could. Yeah, I don't have any torches. I literally have one. So maybe I should real quick get some more torches in preparation for this. I'm going to need to light this up as much as possible. Another chicken egg. Oh, hey, there's a chicken egg. Yep, there is another chicken right here. He's just been sitting in here. What a good boy. I am feeling pretty confident going into this this time because I do have a lot more armor. Confident! Don't blow. Okay, you still got the gold. Oh my gosh, dude. Why is there so many creepers? Okay, we're fine. I just got a carrot. I got a carrot off that zombie. Okay, there's no more torches. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep lighting it up as much as possible and blocking as much as I can. Oh God. Oh my gosh, dude. This cave is so deep. It's terrifying in here. Hello. I can't keep skipping all this. There's tons of gold in here. Lots of gold, actually. And I don't want to miss out on any of it. These mobs are just never ending, bro. It's way too many zombies. Hold on. Let's take a break. I need to get more torches. The problem with this is that there's not really many areas for them to spawn in this world other than in these caves. So these caves are just so jam-packed. Literally, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, well, that just solved my problem right now. Oh my gosh, no, it didn't. Okay, there's still a lot of mobbies. No. Okay, lock them off. Make sure nothing's sneaking up behind me. This looks good down here. I just gotta take it slow. Take it real slow. Take my time. I'm not in a rush. Okay. Ooh, we're coming up to like the edge of the planet right here. This is so cool. Except for the fact that there's mobs. Try to torch it up in here. Trying to place down torches. So once they're gone, they're gone, gone. Don't push me off the planet. Successfully have torched it all the way down here. Oh my gosh, dude, that's the void. But I will say my planet is dummy rich. There is a lot of resources the farther you go down. That's for sure. Okay, let's keep going though. This is where my zombie villager was over here inside the boat. And still here. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Because one of these days I'll get around to curing them. Let me see. Is there anything else over here? Another portion of the cave? No, I think. Okay, I think we've now explored all the cave inside my planet. And this is exactly exactly why I need to put some windows in my house. So that's a good thing that I'm uh, already cooking up some sand. Oh no, there's a creeper stomping around on my thing, on my farm, which is pretty much already all fully grown. Come on, dog, get off my planet, bro. Oh no, there's another one. No. Okay, knock back OP. There we go. Taken care of. Only I get to stomp on my yard. Okay, I'm gonna grow all of the potatoes, particularly. I can harvest them up. Oh yeah, and look at that. Look how many potatoes I have. This is why potato is the best food source. However, I am gonna cook up all this gold and then also cook up some more glass so then i can be able to put them in my windows like so i don't even gotta think about that anymore aha see it's already working they already can't get to me now the only other thing is to cook up a bunch of these potatoes so that i don't gotta worry about food for a while and in the meantime while waiting for those i might as well just mine up some uh some cobblestone now that all that mining's out of the way, it's time to quickly whip up uh, some gold booties because we're going to be hopping in the nether soon. By the time we finally jump in, grab all this food. Another thing I would like to do is make a bow, which I'm short one string. No bow it is. I mean, I do have a bow. It's just almost broken. We got our flint and steel. We got a dookie bow. Let's head over to nether planet. Oh, hold on. I didn't even, I didn't even see that planet last time I was over here. What the heck? Like an ice spikes looking kind of planet. I'm gonna try to take a look around over here. It's definitely like an ice spike style planet. I'm curious what I could see if I get to the jungle one and how far out I could see. Oh, there's honeycomb right there. What the heck? That's for another day. Today, we're hopping in the nether. It's time. <sighs> Hopefully this goes well. I'm hoping to be able to find a fortress or a bastion, preferably a fortress. I'd like to be able to get some blaze rods for brewing and all sorts of different things. And of course, I would also do love to do some trades with the piggy boys. That would come in super clutch with getting pearls. 
And so I pretty much just ran around the nether, mining up tons of gold, doing my best to find a bastion or a fortress. And I, I really could not. I just could not find one no matter how long I ran. But I did manage to find a warped forest where I just pretty much figured that it would be the best bet to just slay a bunch of endermen. So I'm able to get some pearls. And on my way back home, I decided that I should probably just do some trades with piglins just to be able to get any sort of extra resources that I might not have in the overworld. But when I finished up with that, I went through the portal and this happened. All right, well, um... This is this is quite the scenario. I was anticipating to not not be portaled back to where I should be. Well, let's try to give this another another attempt here, real quick. Um, please work. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I see how it is. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to mine tons of blocks because I do not have enough blocks to get home from all the way down there. So let's just mine up a ton of netherrack and we'll bridge our way back up. Here we go. Time to bridge home as best as I can. I'm debating if I should go up to that planet or just up to my bridge. It's hard to tell which one's closer. I mean, obviously that's higher. I think that's closer. Also, I have not been able to see... Oh, look at the Mesa biome planet. That looks pretty lit. I'm just going to say screw it and bridge all the way to my other bridge. Wow, I was so focused right there. <laughs> okay, I'm almost high enough to be able to just start bridging straight. Do my pinky hurt. I also just ran out of blocks. So I need to go get more, unfortunately, so... Here we go. Okay, and now we're at the final stretch. I'm just gonna bridge all the way over to my bridge and then we should be chilling. I also wanna get there before it gets nighttime. Unfortunately, it's gonna suck. Wait, what? Oh my, oh, bro, I was zoning, bro. Oh my gosh, I, I bridged right past it. Holy crap, that was a small brain moment. Oh man, I was zoning out, just bridging my life away. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 here we go. Here we go. All right, now we could just run home. One good thing about going to the nether though is that I actually got a bunch of string from piglin trades and I finally have a decent bow. Next on the, oh my God, oh my God. Relax, relax. This is where a handy dandy brand new bow comes in. <laughs> But after that long, stressful adventure, it's time to go farming a bit. And I'm going to chop this down and do the exact same thing that I did to the potato farm. And that is just completely uproot every single one of these and then replant every single one of these all at the same time. Well, then hopefully they all grow as evenly as possible. Plant, 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 plant. And there we go. It's always nice and peaceful working on the, uh, the old farm here. Next on the agenda is I want to officially expand the sheeper farm. Well, sheep pen. I, I think they deserve it. They pretty much they pretty much monopolized my entire world. I have no idea what happened to the pigs, but I think they pushed them out. So let's grab some dirt real quick. And I want to try to terraform the area, I guess, as best as I can. I'm terrible at terraforming. I usually am never this kind to any animal in Minecraft. I feel you guys deserve it. Especially uh, Chickpea 2.0, I think. is literally laying no eggs, though. Like, what kind of chicken just doesn't lay eggs? What is this? Next on the agenda is I would like to build a... A mob farm i've been sleeping on building one of these for a while now and i just basically want to try to get a lot of arrows and things like that i, I mean i would come in clutch and i'd love it i'm just gonna build a classic traditional beautiful mob farm i have no idea how high up i am so i'm gonna build it all the way up okay and now that i got the tube all the way up it's time to branch out i also cannot forget to add a bunch of torches under here because it's gonna cause a lot of shadows then i need to give it a test i give to test every single time that i've ever made this i was like is this eight blocks is it seven okay yeah perfect and then i just gotta wrap it all the way around now to build out the entire platform that all the mobs are going to be spawning on might as well do it with slabs and then i gotta build up the roof which has to be is that how tall it's gotta be is it this one yeah it's this one okay yeah more than two blocks i don't remember we'll find out regardless the roof has to be short now for the final part is i need an infinite and water source so i need to swim down real quick <laughs> Ow, Skelly. Ah, oh, see, I knew it. I knew there was going to be too much shade right here. I got more torches. Get out of here, brother. Nobody wants you on this planet. Not a single person loves you on this planet. And then I just need to scoop up some more water. Make an infinite water pool right here. Perfect. Fill it all in. Just like so. Oh my God. I made this one a little bit too long. At least it's taking down and not adding, right? Oh, that really hurts the soul, though. That really hurts. But with the power of movie magic, it's done in no time. Everything's looking perfect now. All I gotta do is plug up this infinite water, get rid of all the torches. The only thing I'm gonna add to it is some slabs, just in case of a chicken spawns. We're in business. Naturally, some hoppers would be perfect. Actually, I can make hoppers. I totally just realized that. Okay, or maybe maybe I can't because I, I don't have any iron. Oh, wait, no, I was smelting 
melting iron. There we go. Perfect. The only other thing that I need is some carpets. Oh my gosh. Oh, this thing's filling up fast. I just, I make the best farms. I mean, that's all this is, bro. <laughs> Look at this thing go already. Holy crap. That's perfect though. Because now I'm going to be able to get a lot of XP and arrows and other mob resources that I don't normally get. Now that we have a fully completed mob farm, it's time to chop away at this thing. And I mean, that's basically what I did for the whole day. I just chopped away at it. I also hung out with the sheep. I mean, that that's nice, right? <laughs> One thing I've noticed about this farm is that when I'm inside my house, it really fills up. And I mean, this thing is pumping out goodies, dog. It's just, there's actually so much stuff already. Regardless though, it is a new day. A day for exploring and I'm, I'm running low on cobblestone, but I would love to be able to go out to another planet. Particularly, I'm thinking the jungle one because the jungle one does have the ice spikes behind it. And I don't know if there's more planets, but I, I would like to find out. But uh, for today, today, today's just a chill day. There's punching rocks. <laughs> And now that we got tons of cobblestone again, it's time to go on yet another adventure. Jungle biome is definitely looking the most promising to me. And it just looks so good, bro. Look at it. It's like a, it's got like a ravine with bamboo in it. Just gotta be very, very cautious about bridging all the way out. Going for a diagonal bridge this time. Oh, would you look at that? There is another planet. What are the odds? It's actually, it looks like it's like a spruce forest type planet. So we got jungle and spruce. So we do have a lot of exploring we got to do. My first plan of action while arriving here is to definitely go to sleep, actually. <laughs> Starting nighttime and I want to fight a bunch of mobs on a new planet. I don't know. Oh, there's a ton of amethyst. Oh, there's lapis too. Oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect. Here, let me get a new bucket of water. This is actually, oh, where? I hear mobs. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop it. No. Okay. Well, new planet. Sorry. Okay. We're going to jump down in here for sure. There is. Ow. I'm going to regret this. Oh, okay. There is a lot of amethyst in here. Holy crap. There is a lot. And then there's also lapis. I need to make sure I get all this lapis. All right. And I've kind of mined my way up and out. Wait, I want this watermelon. Give it to me. Yeah, there is this. Oh, what is that? There's like a thing on it, like a like a temple of some sort. Well, then again, this this also has like, I don't know, stuff on it. That's not too far away. And then that doesn't look that far away. I might actually, you know what? Screw it. I still have a decent bit of cobble on me. I might as well. I might as well just try to bridge all the way out there. Why not? I just hope that it's not going to be one of those deceivingly far away ones where it, it um, Minecraft has this thing where on the ends, it looks like it's uh, stretching. So it looks closer. But um, when, I, when I look straight, straight on with it. It's pretty far away. I don't know. Hold on. We'll see. I might, I might be going through all of my cobble right now. And I, I don't know how I feel about this. A few moments later. Okay. So far three stacks of, um, slabs and I'm, I'm still a ways away. It's also about to turn nighttime and I really don't want to sleep on this bridge, but I don't think I'm going to make it back to the planet in time. However, I am determined and I am going to continue on. I really, I just dropped my uh, crafting table because my inventory was full. That's some depression. I think I have enough cobblestone to make it all the way here. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm literally just going to start zooming. My gosh, I'm finally almost here. I've burned through basically all of my cobble. So close. Whatever that is, it looks really cool though. And I want to go inside of it. It looks like a temple of some sort. Oh my gosh, my pinky. Hold on. I need a... Guys, let's, ta let's all take a pinky break together. It hurts finally here this should reach oh yeah no i'm definitely on top of the planet here we go just gotta wait for the water wow that is far i didn't realize how far down that is not to worry though because we do got the water and water super clutch man this planet is so cool I gotta be honest this this is by far one of my favorites for sure something about it it's got the right vibe okay let's see what this temple thing is real quick Ooh, oh it's spoopy in there Ooh. oh oh wait oh my gosh dude okay just one of these scenarios. It might actually be pre-lit though. I think I see some, some light. Oh my gosh, I hear so many mobs still. Okay, time to bust out the torchies. We gotta light it up. Come on, come on, pop, pop. Here we go. Man, this reminds me of when I was just raiding on my own planet, man. This is so much work trying to get through all this. Oh my, okay. All right, guys want this? Literally walking into a blender right now. Oh my gosh, dude, it's a raid party. 
Stuck in a corner. Fine, it's fine. There's just eight million zombies here. Oh my gosh, dude. What even is this? Okay, I just gotta keep lighting it up though, as much as possible. Just taking care of business. Oh my gosh. Wait, why is the skelly shooting at the creeper? Dude, this is terrifying. Literally terrifying. Come on. Okay, it's fine. Oh, oh no, we gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. Oh, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Okay, this is getting scary. Gotta be careful here. Okay. Oh, okay. I need to actually really quick. I need to make a new shield. My shield's getting beat, bro. Okay, oh, I thought I started the Enderman or something. They were sprinting at me. Just gotta take out the rest of these chumps. Okay, this part is clearly just a giant dead end. Go me, found a dead end. I'll see you make up some more torches. So I'm gonna grab as much coal anytime I see it now. There's just so many mobs in these caves, bro. You know what? I think it's also because it's nighttime. Maybe we go to sleep again. <laughs> just gotta get down. Dude, this thing is so deep too. What the heck? Nani? <gasps> Oh, dude, that was risky. There were so many creepers and it blew one behind me. Oh my God, that was terrifying. That was undeniably. Why is there so many creepers? Don't drop. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna fall into them. Why is there so many creepers? Every time it's gotta be creepers. Come on. Ah, okay, they're all dead. Okay, porch, porch. Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude, there's just so much. <gasps> no shot. The portal, it's the end portal and it's already lit. Let me get rid of these guys. Okay, I mean, I guess it makes sense because this end portal was 18 million miles away. Oh, it was insanely far away. So I mean, it better be lit, bro. Holy crap though. Okay, so this makes infinite sense now. I'm literally going through basically stronghold planet. I need to gather more torches real quick. I just want to make sure that this place is completely lit up so that next time I come down here, we'll be in the clear and we can literally just run straight right through it i'm not trying to have these guys in the portal room so we're able to head home because wow what a discovery this turned out to be quite the adventure huh oh my god i hear so many mobs you know what? screw it dude we're just gonna maybe speed run actually okay maybe not maybe not maybe we're screwed maybe this is my impending doom oh my gosh dude there's just so many mobs still it's partly because i'm letting the creepers blow up and they're just blowing up all my torches like that okay just got some creeper guardian right here. Fine, give him the evasive maneuvers and we should be a-okay. Holy crap, that turned into a big thing, didn't it? Okay, I'm going home. The long, long journey home. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting shot. Leave me alone. Next thing that I wanna do is firstly drop off all the new resources that we got, cause we got a ton. Quickly upgrade my pickaxe because it's getting a little low. How does this work? Can't, or do I have to do this in my inventory? Is that how it works? Can't I, can't I just, I might, I thought you could heal tools. Does this no work? Okay. Um, awkward. That's right. Don't I need a, a like a, a, a um, hama, 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 an anvil or something like that? Dang it, dude. I need more iron. Either way, that's what I want to do today, which is go mining down in the mines. I want to do a bit of strip mining down there because, oh wait, Chimkin. Did you escape the cave? No, I mean, yeah, no, I think I think it's just one that escaped the caves or something. Regardless though, I wanna go down in the caves because I wanna try to get more diamonds and things like that. I'm trying to get super OP before we go slap this dragon around. So I just gotta clean up all these mobs real quick. All right, and then I just gotta find a good place to basically just start vein mining. My, my <laughs> Whenever I want diamonds, my brain just goes lower, lower. You, just, you need to be lower. So I'm just gonna go all the way down to the bottom of this cave and then just begin mining. Mining montage commence. <laughs> And yep, no, that's um okay. Maybe we're a little too low. Maybe maybe we go up a little bit. Diamond pick is officially it's at its it's at its end pretty much. I think it's finally time to give it a give it a rest. And so far, have not found any diamonds, but I do have a lot of iron and a lot of gold. So I mean, at least that works. <laughs> I love punching through and then just like into the void. <laughs> just looks so creepy. All right, now it's time to completely smelt up all the iron and all the gold. Get everything else all organized. Here, another chimkin. You're stuck in my waterfall. Also, farm's looking juicy, bro. I need a, I need a, hold on. Let me, let me drop all this stuff off. And then I also wanted to make a brand new diamond pick because I mean, I can make an anvil with all my iron, but it's pretty much all my iron and I do already have the diamonds. So I'm not really sweating it too much we are finally getting low on food i do have some potatoes i have plenty of wheat to just make a ton of bread i love playing farm simulator on this planet do 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 farming really fast yeah 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 here we go 
zoom, 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 zoom. And I might as well get all the wheat as well. I mean, it's not fully grown everywhere, but oh, okay, that's getting full. Hold on. Let's just take care of that real quick. Wow, that is very full. And replant all the wheat. Mostly just doing all the wheat still because of being able to, if I need like villagers and being able to feed them and stuff like that. There we go. Farm completely done. And it looks like the gold's also done with cooking down. Let's also cook up a bunch of potatoes. Then we have plenty of food. And before the sun goes down, chop down a bunch of trees because I want to get a bunch of apples. It also appears that we have an intruder in a house. I don't like freeloaders, guy. Ooh, he gave me a grass block. And while I wait for these trees to decay, I suppose that I could go on top of my roof and try to see any items flying by. Today might be a slow day, though. I know sometimes there's lots of items and then sometimes there's no items flying by. And today I think is uh, one of those slow days. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, it's just staircase. Prismarine staircase. We're all right. All right. We didn't miss out on anything there. Oh, oh, what is this? It is that like mossy looking stuff. Lichen? Glow lichen? Just put that right there. Come on now. Give me some more goodies. Come on. You know you want to world or maybe not. I mean, that's okay too. I just, I need to make sure I'm not forgetting about the apples. I need apples. And now that I have all these apples, I'm going to grab my gold here and we're going to whip up some golden apples. Ooh, exactly seven. I had seven apples. That's beautiful. I wanted to make some apples because I want to go slay the dragon and we are on hardcore mode and I kind of want to, you know, be a little safe. But for now, before we slay the dragon we still have more planets we got to explore so that's next on the agenda after after i get a bunch more stone again get another day of hard manual labor done now it's time to make a bunch of slabs and begin bridging out to the remainder planets i think there's three planets that we haven't been to the mushroom planet the mesa and then also the ice spikes which is super far away now that i'm looking at it it looks like jungle might be closer to mesa than the sand island is so i might actually go to jungle first yeah i'll be honest one of the first things that i want to do when i get my elytra is just i want to get rid of these bridges i hate these bridges they're so ugly in this beautiful universe and i've just i've just i've just completely ruined it man this run is so long i forgot how far it takes just to be able to get all the way over here and it's already turning nighttime on me but i will say though it does seem like we are much closer at least to <laughs> the ice spikes by so i'm just going to continue off this bridge and branch all the way over okay and we're officially also over the ice spikes so here we go i'm going to bridge all the way out over here i don't think the ice spikes is really going to have anything that uh will be that much value to me the nether biome one did have diamonds so we'll see how this because this might actually have diamonds in it. Or I could just sink into my impending doom and some snow or something. I don't know. Oh, this is very far down. It's kind of terrifying how far this is going. Okay, and we've now officially landed on the, the ooh, ice planet. I'm scared of packed snow, right? Because uh, then I'll fall right into it. We should be fine. I'm just right-clicking just in case if I if I could pick it up or something like that, you know? But it's looking good. I Like I said, I don't know if there's even anything in there. Hey, look, we got some Wawas. There we go. I think this is just a frozen, dried-up rock. Oh, there is some emeralds actually hold on oh oh sheesh. hold on we're about to we're about to mine around in this thing real quick oh look at that dude we got some more oh and even more okay yeah no this plan is lit and after digging around for a little while and basically clearing out a good chunk of this planet um i successfully have 18 emeralds now and also a uh, perfect place to sleep now it's time to bridge all the way out to the mesa biome and see what's over there because if this planet had a bunch of emeralds i don't know what the mesa biome is gonna have i mean normally mesa has gold this giant like pillar looking thing so i'm just gonna go right up to that and use this as my uh, point of entry <laughs> okay place down the water there is obviously trees what else do we got here though let's go down we do have more berries oh my gosh this goes way farther than i thought it did this planet's actually really big too holy crap this planet's massive okay hold on i want to i want to try going down and see kind of what's inside real quick because this thing might just be one giant dense piece of terracotta which actually can come in handy though with making a bunch of different types of blocks that's for sure okay i think my assumptions are correct i think it's just one really big doo-doo brown rainbow all the way down holy crap dude this thing is thick at least now I, I know that i'll probably never run out of terracotta this is a big planet this definitely is going to come in handy later though for any sort of builds which i'm just going to bridge straight out all the way to the mushroom biome okay but while bridging this guy decides to spawn on the mesa biome planet why you gotta spawn here brother why you gotta do me like that all right what's selling anything of value please tell me you have something good 
No. I mean, I, uh, I don't have pumpkins. I mean, I guess I'll take pumpkins. Okay, mushroom biome. Back on task. Okay, we should be getting close. I'm losing brain cells, bridging all the way out here. Oh my gosh, is that... <gasps> There's mushrooms on. Bro, I cannot believe this. There's actually mushrooms on this planet. This is the first planet that has civilization. Well, ha habitable human... Not human. It's got living organisms, which is actually really cool, though. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? I hear water. Oh, there it is. How many cows are there? There's one, two, and that's it. There's two. Oh my gosh though this is this big accomplishment big find yeah, actually there's another one down here i found another one so there's multiple oh, is that a cave no way well, this is a cave oh it has spider webs and another cow hi how's it going this planet is actually really cool i like this planet a lot but of course like always though i do want to i do want to gut this thing i want to jump inside and see if there's anything of value in here other than the fact that it's a pretty planet and it's also very safe actually because it is a, a mushroom biome so that means no mobs okay it does have lapis that's good so it's got some resources oh holy crap Crap, dude, it's got a lot of lap, isn't it? Oh, what is this? Okay, it's like uh the the root the roots. It's got some stems to it. I keep forgetting how small of a planet this is. I already punched through the bottom though. There's a lot of lapis right here. I don't really need any more, and my inventory is already kind of full, so I'll be a okay. Whoa, there's another part right here. Oh my gosh, lots of lapis right here. This place is dope. I like this planet. Also, it's the closest to the sun, which the sun is. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's that's some fire. I think it's about time we finally go home though. This has been a very long adventure. I just I have. Some such a long grueling run all the way back so we'll just we'll see when you get home or i'll see you guys when when i get home i think it's finally time i just got to make my way all the way off the way over there so that's a long run almost there gosh it's so far just a little closer now and just down the waterfall it's finally time after of course i slay any sort of stragglers that are sitting in this cave for some reason even though i lit it up okay now it's time Whew. let's jump into this thing let's slay the dragon oh ah hello okay oh dude that was so confusing and there's a bunch of bats in here hello why is there so many bats get away from me let's go up here we gotta slay the dragoon Yes! The dragon's been slain. The deed is done. It's not over yet, though. I still need to get the elytra. So I need to get some pearls because I forgot mine at home. <clears throat> oh, oh, bruh. What is this portal? Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Oh, dude, it put me on top of a tree. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I gotta be very, very careful here. Um, I'm chilling, actually, because I got a water bucket. Can't look at any Enderman. Okay, do we see any end city in sight right now? No. We're on a tiny island. Dude, this is gonna be a big adventure. I already smell it. But right after going through that portal, some something went wrong with the video file i yeah i have no idea this is gonna be super underwhelming but just tons of footage ended up lost and it was honestly very depressing long story short though i ran around the end for a long time trying my best to be able to find an end city and it took forever but the one end city that i did manage to find did actually have an end ship and so i boarded that end ship clapped all the shulkers got my elytra and flew away and then that's also when i noticed that uh, the recording was messed up so but i think the re did the recording mess up better not of all I actually cry regardless elytra in hand baby that's from so now i'm able to actually get around way way easier but i also have some creepers and mobs outside my house and i'd rather them not be here excuse me sir oh okay he just got clapped where's this other one here he is oh my gosh dude it's a death trap over there come on what's up dog gotta clean up over here i don't know how these guys keep spawning even though there's torches right here now i could craft up fireworks baby oh wait i just i just made two different types of fireworks dang it i made ah small brain moment there um moving on <laughs> oh no but it doesn't even matter because the sun's finally setting on day 100 right here i'm gonna be able to just fly all the way over to my favorite planet the mushroom biome <laughs> Just leisurely fly all the way over here. Guys, comment down below. What's your favorite planet out of this entire world? But that's gonna be it for this 100 days, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys wanna see more of the planet series. This was an insane journey that we went on. And as always, most recent videos are popping up on screen. Go check them out if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.